Uh, Mr. Khan, thank you uh, for joining us. Can you tell us the health index report which has been developed by the Niti Aayog? Uh, well, we uh, strongly believe that it's not possible for India to grow at high rates of 8 to 9 percent over a three decade period without a huge focus on health and nutrition. Uh, our uh, view is that a uh, lot of work needs to be done on health and it's not the shortage of resources, it's not the shortage of food. Uh, there are several governance issues and we believe that if you start ranking states, if you start putting it in public domain, if people get to know that good administration is good politics, then things will start changing. And what we've done in ranking states is that uh, we've not gone by historical factors that Kerala will always be number one, but how has been the incremental change during the course of the year? And while historically Kerala, Andhra, Tamil Nadu have done well, what we find is that incrementally Rajasthan, Haryana, Jharkhand have done some path-breaking work and they have moved up the ladder. And we strongly feel that while the the government is opening up 1,50,000 primary health centers across the country, while a major health insurance scheme, which is bigger than, uh, you know, it's, it covers more population than the population of USA, Europe, and Mexico has been put together. It's one of the most ambitious health insurance scheme. The challenge really is about taking this whole movement of health and nutrition and converting it into a Jan Andolan. How do we make the people involved in a very big way in health and nutrition? Because in nutrition, for instance, it's 40% uh, of the contribution is from sanitation, 40% is health, and only 20% is food. And therefore, sanitation and health play a very important role. Similarly, initiation of breastfeeding in the first hour is very critical. Uh, ensuring that we have exclusive breastfeeding in the first uh, six months is critical. And then complementary feeding. And therefore, awareness, spreading awareness, and bringing in behavioral change. And behavioral change is very critical. And therefore, community involvement involving political leaders, involving religious leaders, and in many of the aspirational districts, which are actually the most backward districts of India, the Prime Minister calls them the aspirational district. In the 115 uh, aspirational districts of India, we've seen some radical change in health, some radical change in nutritional uh, improvements have been seen. And this is because of people's participation in a very big way. And because there has been a huge behavioral change in many of these areas. For instance, in diarrhea deaths, we've, we've moved towards rotavirus, we've moved towards pneumococcal, uh, a whole range of new things have been done. And this has led to a massive improvement. So my belief is that ranking, putting it in public domain, naming and shaming and really pursuing what the Prime Minister has repeatedly said, uh, cooperative and competitive federalism is going to bring in change in India in the long run. Uh, Mr. Khan, this is Amitabh Bachchan. Um, thank you so much for being with us and uh, giving us information on all that is happening on this front. It's uh, most appreciable. I just wanted to ask you, when we talk about uh, numbering states and saying this particular state uh, is done well and this is the, the, the statistics, is there a scientific method how you can find out what is happening in each state? Yeah, so uh, Mr. Bachchan, we have identified 23 indicators, and these indicators are like uh, uh, neonatal mat maternity, under five maternality. Uh, we've looked at fertility rate, we've looked at uh, TB. We've also looked at uh, the period of time, some governance issues like the number of uh, vacancies of doctors, the number of vacancies of uh, ASHA workers. We've also looked at the period uh, for which the doctors are available in a particular uh, district. 
We've captured all, th all these in 23 indicators, and we rank these districts on a real-time basis. The data flows into th from these districts on a real-time basis. It is verified by a third party, and then based on this verification, there is a real-time competition taking place between states and in the aspirational district between the districts. So there is a real-time competition taking place. Some states are moving up, some states are moving down, and at the end of the year, we announce the results. So unless and until on these indicators we don't make the states compete, people must know why some states are doing well on mortality rate, why some are doing well on fertility rate, and why others are not doing well. And we must learn from each other's good examples. I mean, there have been some great examples. Araku Valley, for instance, has this great, unique examples of, uh, you know, uh, bike ambulances spreading out into tribal areas and tribal women being uh, treated Every single tribal woman have been treated in uh, Araku Valley. Similarly, in Bahraich, uh, there's been a huge amount of community participation there. And in Bijapur, where there were no doctors, the district collector has been able to hire doctors at high rates using a flexi pool using the district mineral funds. So each district learns from each other. And based on that learning experience, many states move up and move down. And therefore, ranking really benefits all the states. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Amitabh Kant, uh, thanks very much for joining us and sparing the time to be And congratulations on this index. I agree with you. Naming and praising and naming and shaming are really important. Uh, you must know who's doing better. Uh, in your final analysis, just a small question about you are ranking so many things, and it's wonderful to see that. Uh, by the way, I would rank the Niti Aayog building where I used to work, uh, I think before you were born. It's improved in cleanliness, leaps and bounds. Just your building, congratulations, and all the lose there, transformational change. Thanks. But in your scheme of things, how important is sanitation yes. and health for a country's economy, because you focus eventually on the economy. Is this high on your priority or not that high? So Pranav, it's our number one priority. Uh, because it's not possible for India to be a world leader. It's not possible to be growing at high rates till we don't improve on social indices. And for us, health and nutrition uh, is so critical because in India, only 27% uh, of the women work. And unless we don't take it to the world average of 48%, uh, it'll be not possible. If half your population doesn't work, it'll not be possible to grow at high rates. And therefore, gender parity is the key. And gender parity is important. It, we can succeed only if we can achieve our goals and nutrition and health standards. And therefore, the government is putting all its emphasis on health and nutrition. I mean, our whole emphasis is to improve our nutritional standards and advance so that we improve, we totally eliminate anemia, we, we imp, imp, remove stunting and wasting from our children, and we imp, radically improve on our health standards, and that's why a huge focus has been put on primary health uh, wellness centers. Uh, imagine 150,000 primary health and wellness centers have been, have been established, almost 15,000 of them in uh, aspirational districts, and we've rolled out the biggest health insurance scheme to take care of the health standards in India.